Assalamu alaikum doctors welcome to my youtube channel MBBS and BDS lectures today is the second video of repetitive version course of oral and maxillofacial surgery which is very important for NAD, MDS, LBD as well as for BDS students in this video we will discuss about biopsies and in biopsies definition of biopsy indication contraindication and types of biopsies mean biopsy technique and in last the specimen care First we start from what is biopsy, how we define biopsy, Remo removing tissue for diagnostic purpose is called biopsy. Now come to the indication and contraindication, in indication there are five indications for biopsy. First, lesions persisting for more than two weeks with no apparent etiology, if lesion persists for more than two weeks with no apparent etiology. This is the first indication for biopsy. Second, persistent hyperkeratosis. If uh, there is a persistent white lesion, which is a hyperkeratosis, mean high keratin, again we should go for biopsy. Third, lesions interfering with function like mystication, speech, then we go for biopsy. Fourth, bone lesion not identified by clinical or radiographic finding if there is a bone lesions but not identified by clinical or radiographic finding again this is an indication for biopsy fifth is the lesion having characteristics of malignancy we should go for biopsy these are the five indications of biopsy now come to the contraindications in contraindication, there is a relative contraindication, but no absolute contraindications. For all cases, you need to stabilize uh, the patient, then take the biopsy. For all cases, when we take the biopsy, first you should stabilize the patient, then take the biopsy. In uh, relative contraindication, there are for first is the severe bleeding tendency or coagulopathies. Uh, due to bleeding like in hemangioma second is the injectable bisphosphonate if a, if a, a patient inject uh, have injectable bisphosphonate third congenital heart defect fourth poorly controlled diabetes and fifth there is a immunocompromised patient uh, these are the relative contraindications now come to the types of biopsies in types of biopsy in this table there on one side there is a type and other side there is a explanation of the type now there are four major types first is the oral cytology second is the aspiration biopsy fourth is the incisional biopsy and fifth is the excisional biopsy and uh, last time in a, in early march exam the incisional biopsy and excisional biopsy MCQs was come now uh, before reading these tables first we uh, will discuss the uh, indication of each type first is the oral cytology in oral cytology we remove the surface cell of the lesion mean the uh, because in malignancy the surface uh, cell uh, will be separate from each other and they have no close junction and uh, in oral cytology we remove the surface we take the surface cell of the lesion with the help of brush which is known as brush biopsy which is type of oral cytology or also with the help of uh, uh, Mm, spatula now uh, mean uh, oral cytology uh, we in oral cytology or uh, cytology technique biopsy we remove the surface cell second is the aspiration biopsy in this we inject the aspiration needle uh, also known as fine needle aspiration biopsy we uh, use uh, for the lesion which having uh, fluids like cyst we use aspiration biopsy next is the incisional biopsy and excisional biopsy 
Now, incisional biopsy, we uh, do incisional biopsy in a large lesion. And if a lesion is in close proximity to vital structure, then we go for incisional biopsy. I mean, large lesion and the lesion uh, size is more than one centimeter, then we go for incisional biopsy. Next is the excisional biopsy. Excisional biopsy, in this, we completely excise the lesion. If the Le, uh, lesion uh, size is less than one centimeter then we do excisional biopsy and remember the excisional biopsy is the diagnostic as well as therapeutic treatment because in excisional biopsy we uh, completely remove it is mean definitive or treat, uh, treatment or surgical procedure plus we uh, send per this specimen per investigation I mean excisional biopsy is both treatment and diagnostic procedure but other are the diagnostic procedure now come to the detail first is the oral cytology uh, in last uh, in early March exam the school has come if the lesion size is less than one centimeter which type of biopsy we do excisional biopsy and second excuse was the opposite of that if the lesion size is more than uh, mean if there is a large lesion which type of, which type of biopsy we will take the incisional biopsy now first is the oral cytology it is the best for screening to monitor large tissue area for dysplastic changes uh, here uh, uh, this is best for screening to monitor large tissue area for dysplastic changes because we take uh, from that area large area we uh, move brush on that area to collect the cells and check the cell for dysplastic changes here a lesion is repeatedly scraped with a moisture tongue depressor we scraped the lesion with a moisture tongue depressor or brush or spatula I mean these three we are use moisture tongue depressor and brush and uh, next is spatula and if you use brush this is known as brush biopsy which is type of oral cytology the cell obtained are smear on the glass side when we collect the cell surface cell and they then we make a smear on the glass slide and immediately fixed with a fixative spray or solution which is formalin solution uh, but oral cytology is not very reliable why have many false positive result they show me false positive result remember this mcq's point they are not very reliable because have many false positive result second is the aspiration biopsy look at the diagram in oral cytology with the help of brush we collect the surface cell but in aspiration biopsy we aspirate with the fine needle uses 22 gauge needle which is known as fine needle aspiration cytology which is known as which is a type of aspiration biopsy now in aspiration biopsy you aspirate the lesion content using a needle and syringe will only tell you if the lesion is benign or malignant mean it only tell you about benign or malignant but not final diagnosis mean which type of lesion it is used for all lesion thought to contain fluid like cyst any intraosseous lesion before surgical exploration and third is the any fluctuant mass in soft tissue to determine its content like cyst mean for cyst and intraosseous lesion we use aspiration biopsy here usually an 18 gauge needle is used and a fine needle aspiration uh, uh, here in aspiration biopsy we use 18 gauge needle but uh, which is the type of fine needle FNAC which is the type of uh, aspiration biopsy here we use a fine needle not a 18 gauge but a 22 gauge needle which is known as FNAC fine needle aspiration cytology next is the incisional biopsy take only a representative part of the lesion here we we cannot remove the complete lesion but we uh, remove the uh, suspicious part of the lesion uh, guidelines we should follow are including tissues uh, subject sent to the epithelium uh, remove, uh, removing uh, uh, 
wedge of manageable size and min minimal depth of 3 mm and minimal length of I mean double of the depth 3 to 6 mm and minimal width is 1 to 2 mm a necrotic tissue should be avoided take taken from the edge of the lesion to include normal tissue we should include normal tissue incision should be parallel to the vital structure include 2 to 3 mm margin of the normal tissue in order to compare with the pathological tissue if the lesion appear malignant include 5 mm of normal tissue now come to the indication there are four indication first extensive size mean greater than one centimeter in diameter second hazardous location very close to the vital structure third a great suspicion of malignancy fourth lesion has different characteristics at different location you take from the center plus multiple from the edges um, because lesion have different characteristics at different location you t t uh, take some area from center and multiple from the edges then send for treatment this is the incisional biopsy next uh, in procedure mark the lesion should be done before local anesthesia mark the lesion because local anesthesia can hide the outline of the lesion mean marking of the lesion should be done before local anesthesia because local anesthesia can hide the outline of the lesion local anesthesia should be injected at least one centimeter away from the tissue to be removed if you are giving field block because local anesthesia injected in specimen can cause distortion and best is the per biopsy is the regional block all elliptical incision is made per biopsy per biopsy we should give elliptical incision easy to reapproximate the edges why elliptical incision to easy to reapproximate the lesion the edges biopsy is in the attached in java or pellet biopsy is in the attached in java or pellet can be left to heal by secondary injection and intra bony lesion reflect in intra bony lesion the procedure will be reflect a mucoperistal flap aspirate to know if lesion is vascular then make a window in the bone using rotary instrument then remove tissue next come to the excisional biopsy remove the entire lesion plus a margin of normal tissue 2 to 3 mm and it is also a definitive treatment uh, indication is a small lesion that are less than one centimeter in diameter and appear to be benign this is the types of biopsy now come to the uh, last part which is a specimen care immediately place uh, and last and early this excuse was come uh, the specimen which you, the specimen solution uh, per uh, biopsy is the specimen care solution per biopsy is the 10 percent permanent immediately place in 10 percent permalin solution that is at least 20 times the volume of the surgical specimen specimen should be totally immersed in the look in the solution be sure that the tissue is not lodged on the wall of the container above the level of permalin because there will be distortion uh, biopsy farm uh, should include uh, we should label the biopsy farm which include doctor information date name license address patient information name age sex address lesion clinical detail its size shape texture location lesion duration growth rate plus radiographic finding if you follow the patient over time include inform from different intervals and uh, fourth is a differential diagnosis we should mention and operative finding things that you saw during the biopsy taking like abnormal fluid excessive bleeding bone erosion etc and six is a post operative diagnosis if you are not convinced with the result of the biopsy take another one now this is all about biopsy if you like my video press the like button and share this video with your friends if you new to my channel subscribe my channel by pressing the red subscribe button and also press the bell icon in order to receive my each new video notification for watching my videos i am very thankful to you thank you very much